Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you've been wanting to have an art studio and weren't sure how big of a task it would be, stick around and watch how I created one in my own bedroom. As you'll see, it's quite a small room, but it was working for me. However, it got flooded and now the walls and floors have to be redone. It might be a while before it gets fixed, so in the meantime, let's turn it into an art studio. Begin by covering your floor and your wall, preferably with some white non-absorbent sheets so that your videos can turn out bright. For lighting, I used an LED lamp because it does not overheat. Preferably one with a clip. I attached mine to an IKEA shelf I bought. It was only like $15 Canadian, but I found that really works well. I used a book holder to hold my camera. I found it just got me a better angle than the tripod I purchased. I had a spare coffee table at home, but if you have a work desk or a couple of end tables, that's even better. My coffee table is a little bit low, but for now it works. Oh, and that's my cat Luna. You will see her popping in and out of my videos. Here are some random supplies I already had and some I purchased for my project. I've provided a list in the description below of some essentials, but I recommend looking up what you need individually based on which project you're doing. Here is the tripod I was talking about earlier, though it might work for other people's purposes. For my own, it just was not giving me the angles I needed, so I will be returning it, but I'm sure it's good for other projects. For my future videos, I will be using a selfie ring light because it has a built-in tripod and it provides additional lighting, so that's always a plus. All right, so that's it um, for the rest of the video. My niece and I put the studio to the test and I try a flow art painting with some glitter on it and she gives me a surprise painting. So let's begin. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention, don't forget to cover your table so that you don't get any stains on it. As you'll see, you do not need an entire room to create a studio. All you need is just a small corner with some outlets so you can plug in your lights and camera or other tools that you might use. So I did not use a canvas for this, I just had some spare wooden boards laying around and I was just trying to practice my lighting for this video. Um, but after creating the first one, I realized I had prepped a little too much paint and I had some extra laying around. So I decided to just make a second one to match with it. and. Um, so yeah, I ended up adjusting this one to match the second one and you will see soon how they turned out. So I had actually mixed my acrylic with water and then blow drying it to get this random abstract effect. Sometimes you never know what you could get when you use this technique, but adding glitter always makes it really pretty and I'm very happy with how it turned out. And 
of course we can't forget Rose's painting. Oh my goodness, beautiful. Look at that glitter. Okay, thank you for watching. Hit like and subscribe if you want to watch more in the future. Bye!